today, students, I am Mr. Ibarola and I am going to introduce the course outline of General Mathematics. So the first topic is all about function. So what's the student learning outcome? So first is we will represent real-life situation using function including the piecewise function. Next, evaluating a function. Next is, we will perform addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and composition of function. And the last is, we will solve a problem solving involving function. Say for example, given a function f of x, is equal to 5x minus 3, evaluate f of 3. To solve for this, you simply replace every x in the function with 3. So you have f of 3 is equal to 5 multiplied by 3 minus 3. f of 3 is equal to 15 minus 3. Therefore, f of 3 is equal to 12. Okay, let's have another example. We have the same function f of x is equal to 5x minus 3. You're going to evaluate f of negative 2. Same process. Replace every x in the equation with negative 2. So you have f of negative 2 is equal to 5 multiplied by negative 2 minus 3. f of negative 2 is equal to negative 10 minus 3. So you have f of negative 2 is equal to negative 13. This time, we have seen given function f of x is equal to 5x minus 3. Let's evaluate f of 1 half. f of 1 half is equal to 5 multiplied by 1 half minus 3. So to multiply whole number to fraction, convert the whole number to a fraction. So we have f of 1 half is equal to 5 over 1 times 1 half minus 3. To multiply fractions, we just multiply numerator to numerator, denominator to denominator. So we have f of 1 half is equal to 5 times 1 is 5. 1 times 2 is 2, minus 3. Again, convert 3 to fraction. So we have f of 1 half is equal to 5 over 2 minus 3 over 1. Then get the LCD of 2 and 1, which is 2. f of, two, f of 1 half is equal to two divided by two is one times five is positive five minus two divided by one is two times three is six then subtract the numerator f of one half is equal to 5 minus 6 is negative 1 over 2. Therefore, f of 1 half is equal to negative 1 half. Let's try algebraic expression. We have the same function f of x is equal to 5x minus 3. Evaluate f of x plus 1. Again, replace every x with 
x plus 1. So, f of x plus 1 is equal to 5 multiplied by x plus 1 minus 3. Apply distributive property, we have f of x plus 1 is equal to 5 times x is 5x plus 5 times 1 is 5 minus 3. Then combine similar terms, we have f of x plus 1 is equal to 5x plus 2. Let's have another function, g of x is equal to x plus 3 over x squared minus 1. Then evaluate g of negative 3. Again, to evaluate a function, replace every x with negative 3. So g of negative 3 is equal to negative 3 plus 3 over negative 3 squared minus 1. Simplify, g of negative 3 is equal to negative 3 plus 3 is 0 over negative 3 squared is positive 9 minus 1. g of negative 3 is equal to 0 over 9 minus 1 is positive 8. When 0 is divided by any number, the result is 0. Therefore, g of negative 3 is 0. Now, evaluate g of negative 1 to the same function. g of negative 1 is equal to negative 1 plus 3 over negative 1 squared minus 1. g of negative 1 is equal to negative 1 plus 3 is positive 2 over negative 1 squared is positive 1 minus 1. So, g of negative 1 is equal to 2 over 1 minus 1 is 0. What if any number is divided to 0? What's the result? When any number is divided by 0, the result is undefined. Since the denominator cannot be 0, therefore, g is not defined for x is equal to negative 1. If a function is defined by two or more equations over a specified domain, we call it as piecewise function. So, how are we going to evaluate a piecewise function? Say for example, we have f of x is equal to 2x plus 1 if x is greater than or equal to 0. And negative x squared plus 1 if x is less than 0. We have two sub-functions, which are 2x plus 1 and negative x squared plus 1. The specified domain for 2x plus 1 is x is greater than or equal to 0. What are this greater than or equal to 0? We have 0, 1, 2, 3, and all the positive numbers. While the specified domain for negative x squared plus 1 is x is less than 0. What are these numbers less than 0? We have negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and all the negative numbers. What if you are asked to evaluate f of 0? Where does 0 fall? Of course, it falls under greater than or equal to 0. Therefore, we will be using 2x plus 1. So we have f of 0 is equal to 2x plus 1. You know now how to evaluate a function. So you are going to replace x with 0. f of 0 is equal to 2 multiplied by 0 plus 1 f of 0 is equal to 2 times 0 is 0 plus 1. Therefore, f of 0 is equal to 1.
what if we have f of negative 2? Where does f of negative 2 fall? Negative 2 falls under x is less than 0. So we are going to use f of x is equal to negative x squared plus 1. Let's evaluate. Replace every x with negative 2. So we have f of negative 2 is equal to negative times the quantity of negative 2 squared plus 1. f of negative 2 is equal to negative times negative 2 squared is positive 4 plus 1. f of negative 2 is equal to negative times 4 is negative 4 plus 1. f of negative 2 is equal to negative 4 plus 1 is negative 3. Therefore, f of negative 2 is equal to negative 3.